start by talking about your inability to get anything going offensively tonight and, and what the issues were. Yeah, I mean, you just said it there. It was tough to get in the rhythm, uh, throwing the ball, running the ball. Uh, neither were working for us early or um, really any, any any point of the night. Uh, and when, when you're playing on the road and you're struggling to do that, I mean, it's tough to win. Or the offense doesn't play well for the fact of tonight um, in general, um, but especially when you have a great opportunity to come out and play against a team that's been in the Super Bowl the last two years uh, and really prove it to ourselves, prove it to one another the, what we're capable of. And um, short week, we've got to put it past us. We, we know the stretch ahead, so um, there's a lot that we can learn from tonight. And this is a resilient team is going to continue to fight and get better. I can promise you that. You talked about that, trying to prove to yourself that you can play with this team. You want to be in the Super Bowl like the Chiefs. How disappointing to come out and play the way you played, especially early. You guys couldn't get anything done. Yeah, it sucks, but I tell you, we're a confident group, and uh, the defense did plenty enough for us to, to for us to come and win this game, and so. Um, the offense did, didn't get the job done. That starts with me, and it starts with the way that we communicated and executed. So um, I've got a lot of uh, confidence in this group, and as I said, we're a resilient group that will get better. So there's no worries or no um, discouragement on, on what our future holds. So uh, as I said, we just got to learn from this and make sure that um, we take advantage of an opportunity on the road against a great team like this the next time. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's tough. I mean that's a good it's a good D line. I mean Chris Jones um, is a great player over there, along with the rest of the guys, and um, they did a good job and um, they got us tonight. They got the best of us. Uh, I think it started up there, but started our communication and us just executing out, out wide when we had a chance to make plays, missed the throw early, uh, did make some catches. So I mean all of us can can take part in this in this loss and um, and be accountable for everything that happened out there. No, I don't think so. Um, I believe in my arm being able to, to, to throw in the win or with the win, whatever it is. I'm sure the other guy on the other side thinks the same. So um, I, don't, I don't think either team worried about the win. It's just kind of the way the game unfolded. The interception in the end zone, did you not get enough air on it? Do you want to get it deeper? What happened there? Yeah, I mean, I'll have to look at it. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I want to give, give my guy a chance. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to regret making that decision. Um, but, yeah, as, as you said, I mean, maybe I got to look at it and say get more air under the ball. Um, maybe put in the back corner in the end zone. Um, I mean, I think the, the defender did a good job shielding our guy off. Um, and I'm sure CD, CD wants that back as, as much as I do. So. Yeah, I mean, I talked to him. Uh, he said he was fine, said he, he um, will be okay. So uh, I didn't necessarily know what, what was going on. Um, but that's kind of the nature of this. You got to continue to move on, trust the guys that we got out there. And that's what I did. And um, he'll be fine. So uh, we'll be okay. How much does it hurt not having Amari for two games in part because of the decision he made? I mean, yeah, it's it's unfortunate not having him. But um, I, I, this, to say the decision he made, I mean, me vaccinated, I could, I could, I mean, I can get it and be out two games. So let's not um, try to knock the guy or put the guy down for a personal decision. Um, I, I pretty much would. I don't know if there's anybody that comes back that's come back under 10 days, honestly. So uh, you give me that stat and you give me the number of people that have flashed back, vaccinated or unvaccinated, faster than that time and, and tested out. OK, we'll go from there. But I mean, um, th that's my team. That's my brother. We're going to support him. Um, that's his decision, as I said, way back in, in training camp when you, when you guys asked me this question. So um, yeah, unfortunately, we're not having him. But I know he'll come back and, uh, and be beneficial for us in, in the late part of the season. What's the challenge? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that is just an opportunity for other guys to step up and, and make plays. I mean, we've had different guys, including myself, go out week after week, and um, other guys have had to step in and make those plays. So, I mean, it's challenging when you, you're missing a guy like Amar, who's such a playmaker and dynamic, but um, we, we've got to be able to go out there and win without him. Jack, when Aaron Rodgers went and was in a similar situation, the pundits like Terry Bradshaw called Aaron like selfish, I think is the word. Why is Amari Cooper in this situation? I mean, I never said Aaron was selfish, um, so I don't, I don't get where you're, you're coming at with me uh, asking me that question. Um, but that's my teammate, and that's my brother. As I said, I'll continue to back him and support him. This is everybody's personal decision, uh, so I'm leaving it there. Denver, uh, Vic Pangio said he has a blueprint. Did Kansas City follow a blueprint at all similar to Denver's in your opinion? No, we just didn't execute. I mean, they, they Van, Fangio went man, and I, I mean, obviously, we, we beat that last week, and this team did it. Did as well. They're physical on the outside. They did a good job of that. Um, but we've got, we've got to fight through that. We've got to make throws, make catches, and um, if we do that tonight, uh, it's a whole different game. We 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, missed though earlier to to to, to Gal. What happened there? They might open the game yet after a big play. They yeah, no, for sure. I mean, once again. That, that was the first play of the game. A lot of time has passed. I've got to go look at it. Um, maybe just didn't put enough air under that one, um, or maybe too much. Uh, not really sure. I thought it would, came out of my hand smooth and just uh, got away from it. So, yeah, missed opportunity. So yes. that sack there was still kind of late. Did that it hear you or crowd noise? What happened on that sack there was still kind of late? I mean, once again, I mean, I haven't had a chance to watch the film and digest and ask everybody their, their thoughts and, and – um, what what went wrong on certain plays? So uh, just unfortunate, obviously. Is this a time where a quick turnaround is a good thing? Yeah, for sure, um, definitely. I mean, we've got to turn the page, and we would have done this win or loss. Uh, got to turn it quick. We got a good team coming in Thursday, um, so we've got to make sure we're getting our body and our minds uh, rested and in the right spot to to go out there and to to bounce back. When you look at how y'all rebounded from the Denver game to Atlanta, what can you take from that this season? Yeah, I'm never worried about how this team's going to respond. Uh, as long as I'm a part of this team, quarterback of this offense. That's the, the least of my worries is how we're going to respond. As I said, this is a resilient bunch. Um, these guys and their atmosphere got the best of us tonight. Um, it's, part, it's part of the game, and um, we'll be better because of it, though. Jack, what does it say when you look Last on one, the field guys. and you're without C.D. Lamb, you're without Amari, you're without Tyron, but yet this team refuses to make excuses? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's who we are. Um, we went, as I said before, we've went through, we went through everything we went through last year. For moments like this, just to be able to um, to move to, to move forward, and for other guys to step in and take advantage of their opportunity, and that's where playmakers and that's where where guys get better. And so um, we're going to have to continue to do that with guys being out. Thank you.